everybody to our Real Bird Hands-On Workshop. My name is Eric Zebarth. I'm a guest host on this workshop here this morning. Um, I've been invited to, to share with you how to be successful in and uh, putting the Real Bird to work. The Real Bird Toolbox is a, is a toolbox that has many uh, many moving parts, and uh, I'm, I'm here to teach you uh, how to use it. And Today is kind of an introductory. We haven't done a kind of like a beginner's course for a while. Uh, we say beginners, but uh, we're always beginners. I mean, meaning that we're always learning. The Real Bird Toolbox is deep. It has a lot of tools. Um, so uh, we want to put those tools, help you put those tools to work to help you acquire listings, which is a big thing right now. There's a lot of stuff going on in the marketplace and uh, how to be able to win those listings. And then when you get those listings, how to get those listings sold and take control of your listings. Uh, it's really important to do that today. We're going to talk about specifically how to do that today. And uh, our workshops that we do are not just a power. You can see a PowerPoint I have in front of you, but it's not just a PowerPoint. We try to make it interactive so that you can learn the how to the next step. And uh, we feel that's really important. It's really important for me as, 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 a, as a trainer and a sharer of information that you can come out of this webinar excited about what you didn't know, uh, what you can do, how you can move forward. And also, that you, I want you to be able to, when we're done here today, I want you to be able to think, you know, I can do this. This is great. Now, one of the ways we help with that is, uh, and uh, by the way, I'm not by myself today um, in the background helping me out and supporting me in this uh, training role this uh, this morning is Gabe Gross, one of the owners and developers of RealBird. He's with us today. Good morning, Gabe. Thanks for helping out today. I appreciate it. No problem. Good morning from sunny California. The rain season is over. The sun is shining again. And we're hoping we're going to have a budget for the country so that we can buy our bread and, uh, and various Eggs other and milk. things that we need. <laughs> yeah, I'm broadcasting myself from northern Utah, where all the tulips and daffodils are blooming and with a little snow this morning. So believe it or not, late in April, it's been a long winter. Um, so wherever you are across the Fruited Plain, coast to coast, we're glad you're here. Uh, we, we do these workshops uh, twice a month. In fact, we got a, a really exciting, I got to tell you about a really exciting webinar that we're, that's coming up. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up real quick and uh, share with you. Uh, Janie Coffey, just a really uh, outstanding real estate agent. Uh, one year ago, she did a webinar with us. She actually moved to a different part. She was in, she was in Miami area, northern Miami area, and she actually moved her whole business uh, further north in Florida in a new marketplace. I believe it was Fort Lauderdale. And uh, no, no, that was too close. It was um, Jacksonville. And she was able to, which is quite a bit separate from uh, Fort Lauderdale. And she was able to take uh, the things that she learned here from using the Real Bird tools and was able to uh, significantly basically reestablish her business and do very well. She's always been a, a great, advocate or um i would say for Robert because she's really taken the tool and used every bit of it and i know we all have this desire you know we we get inspired to, to buy these tools for um for for our real estate practices but we never really put them to full use and we see the potential that's why we we flip out the credit card and say okay yeah that looks great i need that but a lot of times, most times, we, um, I, the real estate agents I work with, they don't really use the tools. They just buy them thinking that just buying them is going to get the end result that they, the vision popped into their brain. Say, hey, well, I, in the, in the, you know, full use of that, that product, that looks awesome. Here's my credit card. And I can't tell you how many real estate agents I've worked with who can't remember what they bought. And when I start working with them, I ask them, what did you buy? Show me what you bought. And then uh, I, as a, as a real estate marketing coach for agents across the country for the last 10 plus years, I, I try to make sense of that and put it all together. Well, when I was introduced to about 10 years ago to RealBird, I was really excited because I saw a tool that would use properly, uh, and it's not difficult to use, would be would bring great success. And you're going to see some of that success today. I'm actually going to use one of my uh, uh, real, RealBird tools clients that's done really well and show you some of the the tools that she used and also a bit of how to as well so let's dive right into it thanks for being here this morning i i really appreciate it um i am going to uh 
But I want to share with you, they basically, in the Realbird toolbox, there's two halves, well, the listing publisher side and the property search, uh, which is sourced, connected to your active listings, um, and where they can see other homes for sale that are next to ones that you have listed inside the Realbird system. That is, you have taken your listing and loaded it inside the Realbird, your Realbird account. Um, by the way, uh, you might say, why do I need to put my listing in inside my Realbird account? I already broker load it in, through my office. And I'm, and I'm going to tell you that once you lo launch that listing and they you know, submit the photos and details about the property into your MLS, I'm not going to say you've lost control of it because in, in a way you've sent it out there and, and uh, of course they'll, the MLS will then syndicate it or share it out to other brokers and agents so it could be on their website. They'll scrape, and I'd say that a word not cautiously, they'll scrape all your personal information off there. And, and okay, that's fine. Bring a buyer, show them the listing, bring an offer, and, and, and use a listing agent, no problem. Uh, but there's so much more control that you can have when you do it how I'm going to share with you here today, okay? And uh, I'm not saying don't put it in the MLS uh, if you're in an area like Gabe is uh, where he lives in the San Francisco area. In that area, there's a lot of homes being sold before they even hit the market. A lot of a lot of the agents are taking those uh, listings, sharing them with their database and, and, and coming up sometimes with a higher price than if they would have put it in the MLS. Um, uh, other areas in the country, uh, this is what I've learned. It's really amazing. You can't really talk about your listing very much. I'll give you an example here. Our, our guinea pig, sorry about that, Susan, because she's probably on the webinar here today. Um, in her area, um, a listing that she has in her uh, MLS here in central Pennsylvania, she gets 900 characters to talk about this awesome home, okay? That's not very much. So usually uh, when she, she has these homes and they're established and a lot of things to talk about and she's doing a lot of, lot of like W forward slashes, you know, because you can't spell with because it uses up too many characters and someone will get the idea. So you end up writing like a realtor, the definition, rather than writing like, um, rather than writing like uh, someone that's walking through the house and describing it. Okay, all this information you create gets indexed by the search engine. So let's go back up a little bit. Okay, so definitely uh, you the you need to take advantage of the real bird. Uh, you have the ability to create unlimited single property websites, and uh, I'm not talking about. I think of like a like a day fly. A day fly has a has a lifespan of about what 24 hours. Um, uh, that's actually mayfly has a lives for like a day. That's it. Now um, a listing. How long does a listing live? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. By the way, there is um, – <laughs> look, look at the homes. This is the stats that I – this is uh, from this morning. Homes typically went under contract in 34 days in March. That is incredible. Um, in these states, most of the um, – are 30 days or less. And uh, here's the state. I'm in Utah, California, definitely. Um, 31 to 45, 46 to 60, and uh, actually – most of the what Susan's doing is actually more in this range, but this is just a, the stats, just to give you an, an idea of um, how things are happening. Uh, you know, in most areas, there, um, in, in most areas, it's it's hard to get a listing. That, that I'm being honest with you. Look at the stats here. Look at the inventory down here. It's come up a little bit. But. Um, we're, st we're still not uh, as w for the inventory of properties. It's down all over the place. So what are you going to do about that? Y you need um, you need a listing that you have to have uh, a longer shelf life. Yes, you want to sell it quickly, but you want that listing to stick around connected to you. Realbird allows you when you launch your listings inside Realbird, what you do is whether that's active, pending or closed, you're it, you're kind of like putting a, a stake in the ground for that address of that property. Now, a lot of your brokerages or, or different places where, where you might have that listing, you only have the value connected to the successful sale of that property uh, for the period that during the active period. But uh, Realbird has been ingenious to let you add a listing and the market sold. Okay, so what if you're new to Realbird? You say, um, I'd like to have the benefit of my uh, a listing 
connected to me as uh, longer than just the active or pending, uh, you know, period. Well, you can create a listing and market sold. So you might be new to real birds, but you're not new to real estate. So you can actually add that listing inside real bird market sold. I mean, don't put, you know, don't put, um, you know, a whole bunch of pictures. Don't put, Hey, come see this. Uh, you know, let us know when you're at the front gate and we'll open up so we can do the show. We don't, don't take that out of the description, but, but market in there. You, and by the way, you don't have to have a price. So in a way you can document how successful you've been in the neighborhood. Let me, sh let me show that to you. Cause I think that's powerful. And, and then I learned something this morning when I did this. Okay. So, um, let's go to, let's go to Susan's site. This is a, a page I build on Susan's site, you know, under about her list with Susan, why you should listen to Susan. Well, she happens to specialize in this area right around Penn State in uh, central Penn, Pennsylvania, Center County. And this represents her success uh, in this area. And each one of these, and there's a lot, I could zoom in right around the university. I, that's probably a good area to show you. You know, if you need to list a home, and by the way, uh, if you can convince people that they, you need, they need to list with you, okay, this is something that you want to be able to show them. Hey, I'm the person that's dominant in this area. Look at everything I'm doing. All these listings right here. There's one here yet yeah, that was rented. So that's why it's a little different color. But um, all these are sold by her. And by the way, that's one representation. And uh, these are the other is a representation of those icons on the map. So if you need to sell in state college, uh, Susan's your gal. You need to go with her. That, by the way, this is a real bird tool that you can create once you, you create your single property websites, the, the real bird will map them out. And you'll see that. Here, let me go to that. So, I, so inside her real bird account, listing marketing, okay? So you see all her listings right now. She has five active listings. But if I go in here and mark sold, these probably represent the listing she's done probably in the last, what, 77? This last probably two and a half years. We didn't put them all in there. There's actually more. Um, quite a bit. So um, that's... Let me go to the widgets right here. I can actually create this uh, a widget. So I can, these are five active listings of the, the listing she has inside um, inside RealBird. And by the way, I can grab that code and then I can paste it anywhere on her website. Um, so how I got the page that says Sold State College with all the tiles below it, that was inside RealBird here um, under RealBird um, and then listing marketing and then widgets, okay? And under widgets, there's a couple different views. These happen to be her active listings. If I click active pending and sold and preview the code, because the code's going to change, because it's now gathering all her listings and it's even more, and they'll just go more and more until it shows all of them. Okay. And uh, this is the listing map that you saw on top of the page. An interesting thing, uh, that's just for active, so that's page showing her active listings. If I did, you know, obviously selected pending and sold it, it look like the one I saw on the website. But here's what's interesting. This is a page I created for probably two, two years ago. And when I search on that, I copied that and I searched it. <clears throat> I don't know if you know this. If you search in, in like a like a private window, you, you can, which means that uh, the search engines don't read where you've been before. And I searched for that. She ranks for sold state college pay homes. So this is a page I built inside her website. Um, and uh, she is... Um, smack dab right there in the middle of the page number one for sold state college PA homes. And what's on that page? Voila, that's a real bird map to show how successful she's been. And then of course uh, the, the tiles of all the listings. Now, if that's not powerful, so, so if, to me that that's one of the things you show in your listing presentation. You say, Hey, you know what? Uh, you know, I've been ranked uh, on page one for, for homes that are sold. So this shows you even Google's authority sees, sees me as an authority for sold homes. And you could show them that, maybe take a screenshot of that. I'll show you another thing. This is kind of that. So I learned this morning that, 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 that she had that ranking there, which is pretty cool. I want to show you another graphic here. Let me show. This is a listing that um, I created for her on behalf of her. Uh, this was, um, I, this was last week. And this is a listing we made live and um, we got the listing and, Gosh, just as soon as we could make it live, we made it live on her website. Um, first, uh, one of them is the listing in, within her website, and this is the real bird version of the listing. Uh, in, in, and we've got page one ranking, uh, page two and three. And actually, this listing at this time was still sh uh, truly was actually a little bit behind, even though it had the listing. It had uh, that this was off the market. So it's, that's why it says PA public record. 
it did, it's not uh, with the MLS, you know, launched with the MLS yet. So that you could do that. That was, and that was because I give credit to real bird for jumping ahead. And by the way, you know, that once you make your listing live in real bird and then your MLS, you know, that if you type the address in there and I did, like I said, I did it with um, what's called a private or incognito browser because I didn't want my results here to be influenced by where I'd been before. And that's a tip. You might know how to, how to do that. You can, uh, you can, find out what's really going on, not not remembering where you've been before. <clears throat> but it was interesting to me that she was that we were able to get that ranking rather, rather quickly. Uh, this happened probably in about four hours that we were able to do that. OK, um, so I'm going to show you a little bit more how to how to do that and uh, how to be successful at that. OK, and um, so I already have her active listings in here, by the way. Um, it, you can jump in and use any of these tools, but the key is I'm going to throw this at you. I think it's important to take every listing you ever had and put it in a real bird. Even if you mark it sold with one picture, an, at least an address, you don't even have to do a price. As long as it says sold, it's not, it's not, um, uh, you're not deceiving anybody. You're basically saying, Hey, we were successful here. Okay. Put all your listings in there. And then you, the, a lot of these tools then are then equipped that you can then share in different places like what I did with Susan, okay? Well, all her listings are in here already, uh, uh, and I can share with you how to create a listing. Uh, we have plenty of, of uh, tutorials that will show you how to create a listing. Uh, it, it's basically you're going to start logging your Wilbert account, and you're going to click add a new listing. I'll give you a couple tips here. Click uh, for a self listing. Put the address in here. This is kind of like you're loading a listing in the MLS. Uh, put the city, put the state, put the zip code. A listing title, I'm going to recommend that you have something that's descriptive, not only of the home, but where the home is. So if this is a home in State College, uh, th then I would be, and it's just um, outside of the State College area, I would say uh, State College, uh, let's see, State College, it's a, almost like a cottage of a home. So I'd want to des describe the type of home it is and then for sale, because this listing title gets picked up by the search engines. You know, so uh, here's here's one that I had. Um, the, the, it's one of the following, mountain home on 20 acres. Pretty cool. You know, so if you can describe a little bit about the home, you only have less, a little less than a long sentence to describe it. Put the MLS number. By the way, you don't have to put the MLS number. If you're putting your solds in there to to document your past success, don't put an MLS. You don't have to put a list price in there. For example, it's a home you sold like this area where Susan is a state college. She puts a price in there uh, with something she sold five years ago. It's going to look like she undersold that home. So you don't have to put a price in, but put some basics in beds, bath, uh, interior size, lot size. If you have it, you're built. This bottom link is going to be uh, what you link, for example, where you mark the name of the broker that you have that goes in that box. And, and it, this is automatically filled because there's some global settings under listing marketing uh, where you'll set those, those things once, and then you don't have to forget about it. Put the description in there. This first description is, the first 600 characters of a, a description, okay, because that's what fits on the flyer. But if you go down here, the description page, this is where you can talk more about. And this is where you're really unlimited. And this box gets found by Google and gets read by Google and indexed. And you can put links in it to, you know, a website. For example, um, she, ha she has on her website, uh, uh, and by the way, if you haven't started to do this, you need to do this now yesterday or like the day before and that is uh, if you have a website start anchoring yourself in those neighborhoods so that you're seen as an expert okay so this is a happens to be an area where there she specializes in so it's a, it's a subset of state college called park forest village it's surrounded by all these beautiful trees this neighborhood it's really cool you can see the trees there in the background it's really cool and this is a house she sold in one day and by the way isn't that widget cool uh, so she gets a lot of traffic to this page drilled down because guess what? Zillow doesn't provide this. Zillow doesn't really drill down to this level. So that's a great tip on what you can. She gives me things and I post here like view brush collection guidelines. This is easy to post. Things like does she get she gets she set up Google she sets up Google alerts so she can be notified about stuff that about this little neighborhood and then she shares it with me. There's, I even did a Google map. I didn't create this. Google told me where the boundaries are and I was able to embed that. But this is, happens to be a home in Park Forest Village that she sold in one day and thanks to Real Bird. And uh, look, see it backs up to the beautiful forest and um, this widget here is called a mini widget and you can create that 
inside your Realbird account. And I, I'm inside the listing where you're creating the listing now. And uh, this is where you could put neighborhood information, like describe Park Forest Village. You know, if I was listing another home, if she was listing another home, Park Forest Village, there's plenty of room to talk about that listing. And why not? That listing is going to survive a long time. So you want to use that data. Once again, something your MLS doesn't provide you. Realbird does. That's the value of Realbird. Um, I've, I've been in this industry since before year 2000, okay? And I've seen a lot of tools. I've represented a lot of tools, but I have never seen a tool like this, that Realbird. And that's why I think it's the best, you know, $125 you could spend a year because it does all these incredible things, okay? So um, I'm going back here to where you put the listing in. You have information to talk in detail about that listing and have it stick around and be found and be, con and be connected with it and dominate in the search engines. When you have those listings, those are anchoring your success in the search engines, okay? Um, so I dive over here, dive over here, let me see, there, okay. Okay, we talked about that. Yeah, so let me show you where to grid, where to create this widget. And by the way, this, this just sold right here, but um, you could show it as an active. Let me go back and show you where to get those listings. Once you've created your single property websites, uh, this is an example. This is the one that was sold in one day. Uh, let me show her. So active. Yeah, let's go there. She has a listing. Uh, this is a listing. It's only been on the market like four days. She already has an offer. Um, it's it's going to be probably um, off the market by this evening. Uh, it's Of course, it's a tight market. It's crazy there in, in the state college area. And uh, um, I've done all kinds of things to take this listing, obviously she listed it in the MLS, uh, but we don't just rely on that. Uh, we want to do more than that. We, I, I want you to have the confidence when you sit down with someone that's considering putting, handing you their home for the next 60 to 90 days and their life is, and they're within their family or in the, within that home is exposed to the world and they feel naked and they do feel that. If you, Many real estate agents know that. Some of them don't know that you're, you're exposing the world to their house. And that's why you want to use as many of these tools as possible so that you can minimize that window. No, fortunately, you know, homes are selling really fast if you can even get a listing. So that's good. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but minimize that. That's something to communicate to your seller is, yeah, I'm going to be aggressive and, and I'm going to get this. You know, we're going to price it right. We're going to stage the house properly. You know, make sure we have access for showings. And then we're just going to market the heck out of that property. Now, Robert once again helps in that endeavor. And there's a really cool tool that you, there's a sheet you can print out. It's a PDF sheet. It's branded by you and your contact information. But this is something you can include in your marketing pieces when you market a home. And say, hey, these are the, some of the portal sites that I use because I, I have a really cool tool called Robert Pro online marketing platform that's going to help me do that. And this is something you can print out, and it's, uh, you know, here's where it's automatically sent out. Here's worth a little bit of effort, and we're going to talk about that next, where you can manually post and share. And I hope you're doing that everywhere, because that's really key. This has been the key to Susan's success, her success, and be able to grab so many listings and sell so many listings in her area. She wants to be known as the expert, okay? So you got to do things like this. You got you got to do, and, and you got to be kind of mix it up together. Yes, I realize people in Park Forest you might say, "Well, what do they care about this? Where they're one sold in their neighborhood?" Because you know we want to drive traffic from that neighborhood to show what's for sale in that neighborhood. But they look, look at this view report of homes that sold, and so you can click there and you can actually you know get a report, see what's sold there. People look at this stuff because the value of their home. Face it, most people's biggest investment in, in uh, finance is, is their home and the equity they have in that home. So if you can provide them information about what their home might be worth in their neighborhood, or you look like an expert in the neighborhood, you're going to get calls. You're going to get connections. Um, and I hope you're doing a newsletter. She does a newsletter. Uh, we should have one coming out the end of this month, uh, which is already in this month, but she did this, uh, she did this newsletter. Now she um, printed it out and mailed it to everybody in that neighborhood. Uh, but she also, we also posted it on her website and she's already got two listings from that. So um, mailing's not dead. If you're going to be specific in an area, be an expert. And then of course, share those resources more than just in paper. 
you know, make a version of it, put it online so people can share it, so people can look at it. People do read this stuff. Someone that's thinking, you know, three, six, eight months down the line, they're thinking about selling what might my home be worth. They want to know this type of information. So I want to show you how aggressive you could be in in uh, in marketing a listing and, and uh, using the RealBird tools. So I'm going to share with that that with you. Okay, so inside your RealBird area, once you create that single property website, um, you have what I call, this is kind of, I call this like the wardrobe. You know, this is a closet your house is going to step into. Put this coat on and, or this hat or this scarf or whatever and go out on the town. This is the places where once that listing is there, you can then share it in many, many different ways. Uh, I want to show you that mini site widget. So for that home, you saw the one that said it was sold in one day, mini site widget. Okay. So this is given to give you an idea where you can, you can actually embed this in many different places on your website and such. Uh, I'm going to hide the background and that width and height I'm good with. And I click generate code. And that's what that's going to look like for that listing. And then I can put it in the website. So, and look, it goes through the slideshow, and then this, of course, links to the the full Monty, the full version of that home. See, there's the home in the background, and uh, and then there's the description of the home, and I got a great gallery of photos. Just a really cool, they put $30,000 in this home and renovated it, um, so that you could see that. It's just really nice. It's got a nice kitchen, and there's a really cool house. Now, you'll notice in every single one of these property, property websites you see of of uh, Susan's, uh, there's three additional tabs you can add. There's one Facebook. I put her Facebook widget in there so you can connect with her on Facebook. So every one of these single property websites, and I think she has over 85 in the Rilbert system, active, pending, and, and sold. Every one of these has these pages in here where you can where you can connect with her, um, her Facebook. Um, and uh, this will show like nearby homes for sale if they don't like the one she's listing. And those will still get branded to her. Not a lot of listings in that area. There's a few more. Yeah, there we go. That's still populating. Okay. Information about Susan. So this is her, basically like her bio that's traveling everywhere. Okay. So that people can see that, who she is. Um, testimonials. There's another box where you can add testimonials and reviews. Reviews are huge. People read reviews. Now, these are older. I can tell I need to, I need to uh, update her with some. Some more up to date. She's got 87 um, positive five star reviews in Zillow. I can bring those in here as well. Learn, learn about the schools in the area, the description, sometimes even the street view of that home. And if you don't think people drive that home, you're crazy. They do. This shows the local schools. And then uh, let's go map view and street view. Now, a lot of these tools are already created by just you creating with the address the, the single property website. Okay, um, so so you don't have to create some of these tools. These are just some additional pages that you can create. Here, I use testimonials about Susan and Facebook. All the rest of Wilbert created for her. And uh, let's see if there's Street View. Usually, I can bring this guy over here. Yeah, and see what. The, okay, let's see what happens there. Okay, yeah, there's the house in the Street View, and I can drive the neighborhood. A lot of trees, beautiful. I can even zoom in. Most people didn't know you could do this. Obviously, the address, they, they zoom out. Um, what else? Oh, cool. You can see that. I always like this for my clients in California because they're always like, people want to know, you know, how many pools in the area, right? So you can go bird's eye view. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you do Google. Okay. So you can see the area and then you can zoom in. You know, how many pools in the neighborhood? It's pretty amazing what you can see. Uh, I believe that's the house right there. Yeah, right, smack dab in the middle of it. So uh, these are all tools that Realbird turns on for you. There's just some tools you could turn on here as well. So what I do is when I, because uh, I work kind of pretty tight with uh, Susan in our marketing, we put that listing, uh, and actually we can share it here today, which is pretty cool. I'm going to do that before we leave you here today. Now, we'll probably have this off the market in a pending status by this evening, but it doesn't, it's not going to slow me down. I'm still going to use all more of the tools that we have available because I didn't launch this on Tuesday. Um, okay, so Realbird gives you the tool to take that listing and send it everywhere. So let's go ahead and take this and bet on Active Rain and blogs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and generate code. I'm going to go ahead and, and grab that code that Realbird gives me. I'm going to go, do I still have her website open? I hope I do. 
I have to just log in real quick. I'm going to add that as a post. You see some magic stuff happen here. This is real. The beauty is, and by the way, if you don't put the listing in RealBird, you don't have these tools available that I'm that I'm sharing with you. These advanced tools that I'm sharing with you today. So that's why you want to make sure that you that you take full advantage of um, what what you have. <clears throat> okay, while that's loading, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, she happens to have a WordPress website, which I feel is the best way for you to really be a to be a publisher. And as a publisher, you have the ability to um, keep cod home for sale, not pending yet, so I can still put it um, in state college. Minutes. Well, this morning from Penn State. This is a big deal. This is an ever growing university. People from all the world uh, now live here or are interested in Penn State. I'm going to come over where this happens to be WordPress, but if you have another website, you're probably looking for a button that says HTML um, or um, I would say if you don't have a WordPress website, the other you're looking for here, let me just type it out so you can see HTML or you might see this, this symbol here. And what this means is you're adding text, HTML text, which is what RealBird's giving you. In WordPress, it's called just text. And I, I can paste that content in there. Um, this is a home in, in State College. There we go. Uh, I'm going to set a featured image. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's get... I like this little solarium. This is really cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and uh, I'm going to make that my featured image real quick. Okay, and uh, now what, if you can get a WordPress website, um, you can set it up so that it syndicates. Uh, so it really is the center of your wagon wheel, kind of like your publishing hub. Uh, you might have other websites that could do that. WordPress does it the best. If you need help with a WordPress website, give me a call. Set you up with that. Okay, there's my headline in there. And when I push this button, and uh, how, did I have to format all that information? No. Um, I know it looks a little hard to see and read, and it, you don't have to understand it. Just know that I put it on that side. I'm, I added a featured image. I'm now going to publish this listing. And um, now th this real bird gave me the tools to format the listing. And this should show up pretty quickly in all our different places. We'll see in a second if that's true. Or made, I make a fool of myself. By the way, while that's doing that, let me just run over and show with you, show you. Um, I hope every one of you gets an active Rain account, uh, even at the free level. There's a free level and there's a Rainmaker account. Uh, no, Susan was, was using the system, the active Rain, for free for a few years till she started getting business from it, and that's what I always recommend. You know, use it for free till you make till it pays for itself. Uh, and now she gets in there. And what's cool about this is the difference between the free level and active Rain. Is uh, when you when you put your profile in there and add your listings. And by the way, the same code that I used to put on our blog is the same code I would go in here to write a new post. All right? I go in here, write a post, and I'd put a great title in here. And then here, remember, looking for those double, the greater than less than sign. That's what you want to do because you're putting code in there. Now, I'm not going to put this listing in because I already did. But that your list your your blog posts get seen here and get commented on. Now, if you're in the free level, they don't share as much of your information or listings to the general public and to the search engines. But if you become a Rainmaker, they do, and they do share it everywhere. And it can be indexed by Google. Do I think it's worth the anywhere from $100 if you get their special to be a Rainmaker or up to $200 a year? I still think it's worth it because Active Rain is a growing community. But it's actually the first real estate peer-to-peer -peer community uh, they've been around a while. Now they're owned by Ben Kinney, who's putting a lot of great tools in it that, that weren't there before. So it's awesome. Okay, so you'd use the same code that you're going on the blog post. Okay, so I went live with that post. I'm going to go ahead and view that post. Okay, but I want to show you. Okay, so there's a listing. I didn't have to format all that. It brought it all into her website. And not only brought that, but it brought her um, website address, links to our own media, um, her re recent listings. These are all her other active listings that you can see. Um, this is a, a general map of, of that where that home is. Hers is this one. And these are other ones for sale in the area. Um, it's actually, that's her listing twice because we've been promoting this like sick. 
Okay, so these are other ones here that you can see. All right, so that's the listing. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, let's go ahead and open up our Facebook page. How about that? We'll take a look at that. <clears throat> okay, I just posted this listing. There it is. Bang, right there. Two minutes ago. It's already there. Now, you watch because she's active in Facebook. I get this all the time from agents I work with that help them do with their marketing. Uh, when they market things like a listing or an article of interest about um, you know real estate, I will see the review, not reviews, but the reaches, how many people it reaches. And uh, she gets a lot of reaches. I mean, anywhere from 24 to 100. Look, here's 38. These are articles that we posted from her website. What was this? This morning, and she's already got 38 views because she's active. And guess where she's active? She's active on her personal side, even though she's not necessarily promoting a lot of she's not real estate there. You got to be careful uh, when you're sharing um, on your connected to your personal profile and their, what we call your timeline or uh, feed of your personal profile. But the more people you have there interact with, the more people are going to see your business side. And that's what's happening here. I have other clients of mine that I will introduce. Here's this listing again. Now, this is one I published directly from her website uh, last week. You got 93 reach here. Let's see, it's 49. Uh, I have other clients that don't say, I, I don't do that Facebook thing. I just want the business Facebook page. And so guess what? When they publish things connected to their business side, they get like five here or maybe one or two. So so real, that's one of the things I've learned is be really active in Facebook. Uh, you don't have to share all the pictures of your grandkids, you know, uh, share all your personal life in there, but if, if just by being active, I don't mean sharing real estate necessarily in your personal side, although you can do a little bit of that, but not a lot. But just by being active, the more people you have in your in your sphere within your personal profile, the more people that are going to see your business page and your business post. That's just how it happens. That's you know that relationship is connected there. Look at this is the listing here uh, we posted um, last week. This is the one where we jumped and we're we're number uh, position two and three with the real bird listing of this listing and her website. Um, look at that's in, this happened in a week. Uh, I think posted this last Friday. Okay. So I wanted to share that with you that this is real. Okay. Let's um, let's click on a, a couple more of her things. How about Twitter? And I have agents that tell me I don't want to do the Twitter thing. I don't like to tweet like, you know, president Trump does. I don't care. Exploit this tool. These tools are going to be exploited for you, against you. So this list, this happened just four minutes ago. Now, she happens to share a feed. When she sees things come across her thing, she'll forward it, and that's what you see. That's why you see it twice. But look how beautiful that is. Look how awesome that is right there with a big old picture. And you click that. It's going to go back, and Rilbert let me make this happen very quickly. So you have to look <clears throat> not only all the, to all the tools you have with Rilbert, but how those tools are used and can be seen. This is her Google Plus, and that listing should be there too. That's a little slower sometimes coming to her Google, to her Google Plus. Also, oh, I'm connected with me or too, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at a different part of her profile there. Let me go back to here, uh, LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is another place that you connect your post to. Um, you won't always see your post right away, but the people that you see, oh yeah, okay, right here. Look at this. It's right there. Just shared. Boom. Okay. So don't pass up an opportunity. Now, here's Pinterest. Now, I um, I manually loaded this listing because um, I shared it. So let me go over and show you how to do that because I think that's many agents don't know how to do that. So once the listing's live, okay, I'll click the link listing live. Um, I go up and pull up uh, in another tab her Pinterest so that I could have them kind of connected. And I go to the bottom here and I go pin it. And by pinning it, that's going to open and say, okay, which which board? Because she's already set up her boards, and this one's we're already in this active one. There's active board here. Let me show you what it looks like. So this listing is in her on her Pinterest board, um, and she doesn't have a business account yet with Pinterest where she's advertising through there. We just use it as a, a syndication venue for her listings, and that listing's in there, and it's can you know can be pinned and saved and viewed. But we click it, guess where it goes? It goes to the full Monty that Rilbert provides for all that information. We're still going to get to here. I'm going to open up my network and share my network. And within within uh, one, two, three, four, five clicks, I've, I've checked my network, how deep my network is. Um, I can share this listing to almost half a million people in about five clicks. So I'm going to do that for you right in front of you. So I, 
I'm hopefully you're getting, and I don't, I know I haven't stopped to ask questions or make sure that everybody's questions were asked, but that's the power of, of real bird that, that you've put your listing into this, into this toolbox. So that it's going to then with the automatic effort and some annual effort is, is going to have a reach that you could not have any other way. And, uh, and this is really taking control of your listings. Um, and I'm not talking about getting into dual agency necessarily, but the idea that, that you're taking your syndication and networking and the marketing of your listing in your own hands. And that's something, a tool that you can communicate to your potential clients. This is why you should list with me. I take your listing. We take control of the marketing of the listing and we market it in such a way so that we can get that highest price in the shortest amount of time for the least amount of trouble to you and your family and your dog and your cat. Okay. That's the beauty of what real bird can do. And, and I can't, I can't express that and share that, you know, all within a, a 50 minute webinar. It's just, it's too much, but I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> you can hear me trying. Okay. So, uh, so there's a listing here. Let's see. We, we opened it up. We shared it here. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. So we shared it in Pinterest. I showed you how to share it in Pinterest. Okay. Active shared in active rain Pinterest. Uh, we shared it in Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, um, I'm actually going to share this live with you, and uh, this one's probably already um, – this listing probably here is probably already has an offer that's going to be accepted um, at the end of the day. So I'm going to – I could come back and do these, but I'm going to work on this other listing uh, that we listed last week, and I want to take that listing instead, and that's this one down here. Um, I'm going to bring this listing up. Now, this is real cool. This is kind of like a home. It's a manufactured home, but it's got a really cool garage underneath. This is why but when I upload, I always get my clients when I work with them and Robert, I always try to get really high quality pictures. And these pictures are 1,500 pixels wide. So they're really good quality and because uh, I want them to see the detail. And uh, I know this is a manufactured home, but it's on quite a few acres. You know, I'd come in. Yeah, it's got dated dated wallpaper. I'm just like, get a can of Navajo white out there and just paint, you know, make it look clean if, if you want. But it's a really nice house. Um, it's got a really cool uh, garage that's not quite complete. Look at that. Yeah, it's on 20 acres. So so this is the kind of stuff that people like. It's got, you know, you drive underneath it. It's really cool. And it, this is not, not bad for how many acres is it? I, okay. Yeah, 16 acres. And it happens to be in walk, just a walking a few minutes, and you're into uh, public land, public hunt, uh, federal hunting land. Uh, and there's deer, and there's turkey here, maybe even some bear. And this is a big thing that you know you can use this like a second home. You know, you're maybe you, you're inside Penn State. This is outside Penn State a little bit. Let's click on the map to get a perspective. And by the way, the same thing I'm doing here. This is what uh, was so powerful about this is Rilbert gives your potential visitors, uh, people that would put in an offer. It gives them, oh, and uh, it gives them the information that they need, so that they can, um, so that they can make a decision. And you see a lot of streets here, but then you see don't a lot of you don't even see your neighbors around. Okay, um, I click the satellite view, and it's probably a little better view. A lot of greenery. Uh, okay, so uh, what I want to do is I want to take this listing. I want to share it everywhere. So I'm just going to take a minute here. There we go. I'm going to click like. Okay, I just like this, so I just means. I just put it on my personal side. And of course, you as a real estate agent, make sure you like it yourself, okay? So I'll show you from a realtor side, it just shows you like you're sharing that listing. Okay, um, I'm gonna tweet that listing. Okay, make sure I just make a sign into my, uh, sign into my, yep, there we go. I can do, I can pull up my own LinkedIn. Because once you're logged into that, it's it, the, the system knows that, and it's going to be able to post into there. It knows who you are. It knows where to post it. I've already posted it here in hers. Let me log out of hers. Let me keep track of this because there's a lot going on here. Okay. So this is one of my, my Facebook? Yeah, I'm in my Facebook here. So once this refreshes... Okay, I'm in my personal side. Let me refresh that. It take, takes a couple times to, to pull up. So, so that should be showing up pretty soon because I just like that. 
So it should be showing in my timeline on my personal side. Okay. Um, do I have my own Twitter account that I'm logged in? Yep. I, I'm which I'm logged in here. My Facebook, my LinkedIn. There we go. To wait for that to pop up in there because I just liked it in there. It take a little bit to show up in there. Okay, so what are my? Let me go back to the listing. Here we go. Mm, yeah, here we go. Okay. Nope, not that one. Nope. Um, nope. Nope. I got a lot of boxes open here. You can tell. Okay, LinkedIn. Okay, I have that open now, so I can share that. Okay. I, got, I apologize. I got too many boxes open here. Okay. I think we're almost there. Okay. There we go. I've liked it there. Make sure I'm logged in here. Log in and tweet. This doesn't take a this doesn't take a lot of time. That um, to what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of fumbling trying to have too many windows open. It'll go a little smoother if I had these all these open uh, up in mind. No, 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 not gonna let me in. Okay, I'm not remembering my password on the fly. Okay, being stubborn. Okay, so if I'd have that open, I'd be able to to launch in that and be able to. Um, Be able to do that. <clears throat> yeah, there it is, right there. Okay, a uh, weekend getaway or year-round living home on 16 plus acres. I tweet that. That's now going to be in my Twitter feed. I did that. Uh, my LinkedIn. There we go. I can then share it there. By the way, so you want to do this on your own even for this listing here. See, most of my groups. Oh, by the way, I have in my first level over 5,000 people. Just my first level of LinkedIn. So I, I'm just sharing it generally. There we go. And um, my Google Plus, how about that? Um, See, so that's what's going to show the listing. I can add a comment here. A 16 acre, 16 acres. Do it right here. Go. No. Hunting close, you know. That people buy for different things, but close. But with 16 acres, you could probably hunt some of your own stuff on your own property and can share that with my network in there. Share, okay. Some of you have already shared this. I can tell some of you do it. And by the way, look at all the other places you could share it with. Load more. Yeah, this is just a bit overwhelming. But I just want to show you that you just. And by the way, you as a realtor don't have to do this. You can have your, um, uh, you can have your, uh, you can have your assistant do this. You don't have to do this. And then, of course, I can post it in my in my own board. I'm happen to be logged into her board, so we which we already have it there, so we're good. So, by the way, and this this listing is shared. Uh, it's, it's shareable in 10 different languages. So here's that listing um, translated into Japanese. Cool, I think that's Japanese, yeah. No, Korean, I'm sorry, sorry about that. In Korean, how cool is that? So um, what we've been talking about today is the depth of your marketing and taking control of your listings and not waiting for the world to syndicate your listing, but having the confidence to sit down with the seller and say, I have a system in place that I can get your home sold. I have systems in place that I've set up to follow. And by the way, you should always feed back to your client while they're in that naked window to the world where the world sees their home and the inside of their home. Make sure you feed back to them. You know, hey, this is how many people have been seeing your property. You know, here's one. You know, 62 times. And there's been a lot of other places. This is just 
measured here within within Realbird. There's a lot of other places that that listing's been seen. Um, so uh, very important if you can to take full advantage of this system. Uh, please, uh, you know, put all your listings in there, pending, sold, active for sure, <laughs> and and send those. Now, uh, there's another s add on that you can purchase with Realbird. It's called SMS texting through Twilio. And I happen to have that turned on on her behalf. Um, I went and set that up for her. And um, it's right here when you click into your Realbird account, it says text code SMS. I've already, I found a, uh, we purchased a phone number. I think it's a dollar a month to have a customized phone number. So I picked one that was local to her 814 area code. So it didn't look like she, you know, she was a carpet bagger from out of town trying to sell a listing in that area that was where people know her a lot. So I got, um, uh, was able to get that. I think that cost a dollar a month. And then each lead she gets, um, uh, uh, cost I think it's a penny or something I mean it's like ridiculously inexpensive and you can create these custom links that you can create a custom code to how we use it for her is um, every time we get a listing we take the street address of the listing and we that's the one we customize it with so so this is three one five three and this is a four three four oh this one is 110 110 acres of a horse farm uh, which is really huge. Talk about some land, 110 acres. That's pretty cool. So, look, so I will use that. Like here, use two and four. Here, this is a glider port for sale. How cool is that? To put glider. It's put in these short. That's easy for people to be able to text on their phone. And what do they get when they text? They text that 110 acres to that number, and they get the single property website. They get that on their phone with all the links and everything that I showed you, the photo gallery and stuff like that but optimize for their phone. So so think of it like a virtual flyer that people can always, if they have a cell phone and uh, and you give them a way to click, get that SMS code, they enter it, they're gonna get all this information on their phone. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So so I wanna challenge you guys to, to do that, to to go ahead and, and by the way, oh, add your tabs to the, your each listing. I wanted to show that to you, that's important. Under Realbird, listings okay under real bird and then they're listing marketing which i'm already there there's right here it says global settings and these global settings yes here's where you'll put the the name of your brokerage so it'll automatically be stamping every new listing you create and you of course i turn on all these goodies you want all those goodies and then make sure safe settings apply to all existing listings okay well you also have these three pages these are the ones where i told you i need to update her her um i need to update her She's got great reviews now. It's got like 87 reviews in there. But uh, this is where you'll go in and you'll make those changes. Okay. Uh, that's extra page one we used for testimonials. Extra page two was about her. Um, extra three we used. I got some code and that basically puts a little Facebook widget so people see a lot of happy faces connected to her, which is really cool. You could change a the design theme. Maybe you have a certain theme that you need for your branding or for your office you can update that there and you can actually um, create a uh, get a live chat tool that's another add-on you'd pay a little extra money for that and where you can add that to all your listings and have chat connected so uh, those those features are available to you that's where you get them under listing marketing and global settings and uh, those uh, those are then applied to all the all the listings from going forward okay so take advantage of that put as all your listings in there if you can afford, you know, two to three dollars a month, turn SMS texting on, so you can add that. Post your blogs everywhere. Uh, print out your sheet, okay? So here, let me show you where to get that sheet. So let me go um, dashboard. We're still in Realbird, and then over here it says, it says my listing syndication report. Print this out. Put this in your packet. By the way, this is a great one to do if you're doing um, if you're doing Fizbos is to, to print this out and show how aggressive you would be if you market the, if they let you market their home. There's a good chance that no other realtor is giving them this type of, this type of, hey, this is what I'm going to do for you if you allow me to sell your home and generate a commission and represent you. So don't don't forget to pass up an opportunity to learn about that or to apply that, okay? Get an active rent account. I don't care. It's free. I don't, don't complain to me. I tell my clients, just, don't be a penny wise and a pound fool. It's just free. Dang it. Use it till you make enough money in there and then you pay, you know? over 
and by the way, you the more active you are in sharing your listings and communicating and liking other people, agents' listings and commenting and sharing expertise and knowledge within that community, uh, you can actually earn points to get your membership for free, believe it or not. So that's one thing I've learned today this morning as well. Um, so turn all these switches on. You're, you're driving in the Cadillac and you're, you know, you still got it, or the Ferrari, let's put it that way, and you still got it in first gear. You're not even barely you know, up to 2,000 RPM. Use it fully. That's what we're here to show you. Within, uh, that's what these webinars are free for. So you can come and learn and then do. You don't have to do it all at once. Pick one thing that you could do before Janie Coffey's webinar in two weeks. Um, can you get all your sold listings in there? Maybe that takes a little more time. Uh, can you set up your SMS texting? Yes. It only takes about 15, 20 minutes to set up. And does it cost? It costs so little you're not going to know that you paid for it. Let's put it that way. Okay. A real bird. I'd say that about real bird. Uh, of course, most of you here probably have already committed to your, your, I'm sorry, Rilbert Pro a year at a time, and you're seeing the benefit. We're here to make sure you get the most benefit you can, okay? Great. If there are no questions, um, I want to thank everybody for coming to the webinar today. Thanks for Gabe being in the, uh, the support role in the back end. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you learned something today. I always make a promise on this webinar that, that I do for you guys in training that you'll learn something and that I'll learn something too, and I always do.